Welcome back. Well, you know the old saying, everything happens for a reason. It sure does. Last Friday, during my segment, Get Real, I made an error, and I wanted to correct it. And in the process of writing today's correction, it led me into tonight's segment. Let me explain, and then I think you'll see the correlation between the two. On Friday, we featured Miss Hema Reddy. She was one of the brave poll watchers from Wayne County, Michigan, who came forward about the election fraud that she witnessed. And then she gave her testimony last week before a panel of Michigan legislators, both Democrats and Republicans. So, during our interview, I made reference to a Michigan Democrat representative who was downright obnoxious and rude towards Miss Reddy and the other brave witnesses who had all signed sworn affidavits and came forward to blow the whistle. So, while I was chatting with Miss Reddy, I referred to the actions of this disgusting elected official incorrectly. I identified her as Representative Harris when I meant to say Representative Johnson. So let me repeat this in case you want to jot it down. This is Michigan House of Representative Cynthia A. Johnson from the 5th District, born on August 19, 1958. Here's a picture of Representative Johnson. Leave that up for a second. Now, I'm actually very glad I made this mistake because it gave me an opportunity to go look into her background online. And I found a video that is now going viral. It's a Facebook Live that Miss Johnson posted to her page just minutes before she entered that building in Lansing last Wednesday to hear from those brave whistleblowers. I thought you would find this Facebook Live very interesting like I did. To set it up, the representatives walking across what appears to be a park in front of the government building where the hearing was about to take place. She's joined by another official. As they near the building, there's a group of Trump supporters peacefully protesting. In the background, they're playing Christmas music. Now you're going to hear the disdain in her voice about the protesters and their choice for music. She also has some very colorful language and adjectives she uses to describe these folks who are simply standing up for our president. Watch. This representative and me, and this is what we got to deal with. This is the oversight. This is the preview because the oversight committee is about to meet with... Um, Keep walking. Oh, with... Uh, oh, shit. What do I have to do? Come in front of you? Oh my God, they're playing Christmas songs. Okay, go on and talk. Did I say that? Making fun of them for their music choice. Calling them, you heard what she called them, dumbasses. Hmm, Miss Johnson. Now, I put this video out there, not because I'm trying to dox the representative, nor do I want to see any harm come to her. No, that's not who I am as a person, and I don't believe it's who conservatives are. When we disagree politically with someone, or we think we've been wronged by an elected leader, we might complain about it, but then we move on. We go to work. We vote. No threats, no physical harm, no cancel culture tactics against our foe, because in the end, I think we truly remember that we're all still Americans. But that's not the case when it comes to the left. Hmm. So what would happen if the shoe were on the other foot and a Republican taped a video like that and acted like she did? Hmm. What would happen? What would the left do? Roll it. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there's unrest in our lives. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite. 
and peaceful. When they go low, we kick. The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. Mm. Again, not trying to dox the representative, her family, friends, no. Nope, no matter how angry I may be, you may be, at her comments and the actions of the left, I simply with that video want to expose the hypocrisy coming from their side as they continuously call for violence against conservatives and Trump supporters and to remind all of us to get real and remember who we are so that we do not stoop to their level of hypocrisy and downright despicable actions. Why? Because we are better than that. And that's going to do it for tonight's show. We appreciate you tuning in. If you'd like to get a hold of us here at Real America, that's how you do it. Twitter, Facebook, send us an email. I try to read them all and respond. Till tomorrow night, we'll see you at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Be proud, be safe, and God bless.